Today, real quick, one more thing today about speedometer repair. A lot of guys are going out and spending 500 bucks to have one of these things repaired, and it's really not that hard to do. Um, you can actually buy speedometer parts online and take it apart. It's actually pretty easy to do. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart because this one actually works pretty good. Um, and the reason that usually they don't work is that right here, if you can see, there's a little gap between where here and the middle where the cable goes in. Um, the grease that's in there uh, wears out. So I'm going to go show you guys one of the things that I do to one that's working good. If it's not working good, I'll take it apart and actually re-grease that thing. It's it's a little bit involved. You have to, you know, slide your the screwdriver around here, take the ring off, pull the glass off, take these two screws out, and then kind of wiggle your way out because this right here where the bright's light is, one of these ones, either this one, the headlights or the bright, or yeah, it's the bright light. Yep, the middle one right there. Um, kind of has to wiggle its way past that to get it off. And you have to have these two screws in this veins thing out as well. So you take it apart and then you have to actually take this apparatus off, grease it, and then it usually breaks. And you have to glue it back on and then you're done, done with that. But anyway, let me show you the, the most common thing is usually this thing right here. The, uh, the indicator usually has a hole in it like that. And it's actually an easy fix, so we're going to see if we can do this with the wrong stuff. Um, usually what I do is I go to Walmart and get some of this here. Yeah, hey, everything looks green. Um, this stuff here from, I usually get uh, those little notebooks that have the thicker plastic, darker green a little bit. A little less uh, transparent than this is. I hope this works. I'm not sure if it will. I'm gonna give it a shot because uh, it's what I, what they had at the dollar store. So, and that's where it was at. So, anyway, uh, I'll show you guys real quick how to do this. You need these items right here: super glue. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go through it with you real quick. So, one more thing. I kind of got this thing sitting on a bunch of junk here, so. Um, Okay, so one more thing I wanted to say before I forgot is, so since this one was working good, I lubed inside, right here, inside this guy, with this stuff right here, Pro One. This stuff is super, super, super expensive. <laughs> this little tiny thing was like 12 bucks. It, it, it lasts a little while, but it's super penetrating and it stays lubricating all the time. Where if you use like WD-40 or something else, the you know it's basically kerosene and that stuff wears out. This keeps lubricating all the way forever. So I'm hoping that it actually rejuvenates the grease that's in there because usually what happens is the grease that's in there kind of dries up and then it just starts to squeak and make noise and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, so I removed the veins here out of the way. You can see right inside here, all there is, is a little piece of clear plastic. The green goes all the way from one end to the other. And usually what we do is cut out a little square of green and put it over the, the oil and the turn signal. And then cut a little square of, get a red binder and cut a little square out of that and put it over the red one. So this usually makes your speedometer so you can more, more legible so you can see what's going on there. So let me give this a shot, see if it works. <laughs> 